I saw a lot of new comments <laughs> on my videos um, here. So let me, let me see. They were like, I was like, oh my God. And it's it's funny at this point. It's so interesting. I think I might have said this before, but it's so interesting to be like a, t like a commentary or a content creator that's like not a TikToker. Like I use TikTok to as a vehicle for my youtube now and so like i don't care that, the, that some people in the tiktok community don't like me it's just a very it's almost like a liberating feeling um i don't know how else to explain it i think i was getting more Following comments for from here i don't know if there's a way to organize these from the top um but i was getting like a lot of new comments on this i can't, i don't know where they are didn't you get banned multiple times for being racist on uh, in platform transfer i don't even know what you're talking about Anyway, um, I don't even know what they were, but a lot of people were like, wow, you didn't even bring up any information. You didn't even bring up uh, any points. Like, why didn't you show us specific examples? And it's like, bro, this whole video is a specific example. Like, you don't have to watch it, but why Why can't you just, like, why, why, why are you talking? You know what I'm saying? Like, just watch it. Like, I can't believe you didn't bring up a specific information. Because they're like, oh, because I, I pointed out that, that my issue with Drew is that, like, uh, I don't really care about the energy she uses towards people who deserve it, but there's some people who don't deserve it. That's really what it is. Um, that's the whole thing. There's nothing, there's no depth there. It's, well, there is depth there. It's like there's times where she just calls people out that don't should be called out. Like there's this guy, these two young guys, and they were just like, oh, I'm going to sign my girlfriend up for the draft because she, she likes to fight. You know, that's not like this this deep seated misogynistic, like all men need to die. Like, but she took that energy. Like, that's not calling out a misogynist. It's just a silly joke that nobody finds harmful at all. You know, you could have seen that if you watched any of my videos. These are video plugs. It's like, listen, listen, listen to five seconds of this. So following the TikTok video I made to plug a YouTube video seconds. where people asked me to weigh in on what I thought about Drew, I got a lot of backlash. Of course, you can see a long form reaction to all of the backlash that I got on my YouTube. But I that's it. First 12 seconds. You can see the long form reaction. This is a this is a thumbnail and the title to my YouTube video. So, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, let's see what this guy has to say. I'm pretty sure this person, well, the person, guy, uh, and th them, whatever. Uh, let's see. This is mostly just my own video, and we're going to go here. I want to end with one question. Actually, now, no. okay. I have a question for you, my guy. Sure. How the fuck do you know what misogyny is if you don't even experience it? I don't know how to answer that question. Um... How do you know if an oven is hot unless you've touched it? <laughs> That's like, I don't know what to tell you, bro. Um, <laughs> like, what a dumb... I mean, listen, bro, that was dumb. Listen, I will never be able to understand a firsthand experience of what it's like uh, to experience misogyny because I'm a guy. Of course. So I'm not going to have a personal feeling attached to it. But that doesn't mean I don't understand. Like, I understand what it's like to be bullied. Like, I think everybody does, right? Like, I've been picked on for my weight. So I can understand. I can empathize with the feeling. But I'm also a human being, like, which is fucking a brain. So, like, I can see things and be like, that's misogynistic. I call out misogyny a lot. One of the really interesting things is, is that on this channel, I don't have a whole lot of plugs to different things. But uh, because I, this is like a, I've started doing this, like, from here. But, like, if you look, this is like, a lot of these call outs are to shitty men right here. Turtleneck emo, shitty man. Uh, I so speed. I don't think he's a shitty man. But, like, he was being sexist. So I called that out. Um, right here, shitty man that was using like Twitter to, to like on, excuse me, when he was on his, what is it called? Oh my God. On his Twitch, he like goes through his, um, his, his Tinder just to make fun of girls. Like I call out shitty men constantly. I, I, and it's like such an interesting thing though, that it's like, it, like I know well enough to know the difference, like what is and isn't misogynistic. For the most part, I'd say that I'm gen like reasonably educated. Like this is what I do. I kind of sit down and we have fun, of course. But then there's time where I educate myself on like uh, you know different aspects of, of different marginalized groups and all this other stuff. So like it's just a really, I think it's a really dishonest point when you're like, how do you know the thing is bad unless you unless you personally have experienced? Like you don't have to personally experience anything. I have a wife. And so, like, I don't personally experience what she experiences, but I have, like, a level of connection. And, like, she's experienced misogyny, uh, even in, like, the internet sphere. Um, you know, there were you – know, so, so, because I, I know – so, I know enough what it's like. It's just, like, really bad 
unintelligent TikTok logic. Look at this. It says, why didn't he prove examples to better his point? It's a video plug. Watch the fucking video. You know it's a plug for a video. It says it at second 12. Like, you're being so dishonest. This. Like, what do you do? Like, bro, you don't have to go to my tip YouTube. But, like, to say that you didn't even provide an example. Like, are you so... Do you have like such a short attention span that you couldn't even look at my video? Chances are, even if you did, you wouldn't have properly represented me because you're not interested in like a conversation. You're just, or you're not interested in like any real dialogue. You're just interested in like, oh my God, people think this guy's bad. I can try to capitalize on that. But it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day, like when you guys do this and you kind of like honestly virtue signal about my shit um, and misrepresent my point and try to pretend that like you're virtuous, all it does is it just pushes me through the algorithm more. And what happens is people that will never agree with me like this guy, he's always going to or this person, excuse me, is it doesn't matter. He's all, never going to or they excuse me, are never going to agree with me. But there's going to be people that trickle from he even hit their own audience that are like, oh, OK, like I get where this guy's saying. And if I pull in like one percent of your audience and I'm like to understand what I'm saying, I've won, right? I, I, I that's it. That's all that matters. Like I don't have to appeal to everybody, but like anybody who's willing to like commonsensically or or intelligently engage in the content, like I'm winning. I'm just gonna win off of off of your bad video. Go ahead, answer that. Oh, I don't think it's your place as a cisgender man to tell a whole ass woman what's misogynistic and what isn't. Because I think if Drew doesn't think that person. Is I think that it's okay for me to engage in like societal dialogue. Like it's such a weird thing. Like I said, like there, like she. This is the problem. Is like this is where we can get almost intersectional. Where your argument is is like Drew's a woman and you don't understand that, and you're commenting on misogyny. The problem is is like I am a. I'm a large content creator. You're not. Like, I'm not trying to be, like, rude or shitty. I, I was a large viral content creator. Like, you have some followers, but, like, your videos don't get a lot of traction. And that's fine. I'm not criticizing you, really. But, like, you don't know what it's like to be a very viral content creator, like, looking for virality, to maintain your virality. And I do. And that was one of the shitty moments of my content. And what ends up happening is, like, as a content creator, when you're trying to maintain virality, you need to make sure that you find content that would aid you viral. But if you can't find that content, uh, then you start to basically create it and that's where the sensationalization of uh, topics comes in and that's what drew does sometimes where she has good topics and she shits on uh, some men that deserve it but then there are times where she doesn't and you want to know why it's not because they're misogynistic and she feels a way about it it's because she's a large content creator trying to maintain her platform and so like you are coming at this in, in this way where oh it's all misogyny i'm coming at this in like a way where you will never be able to understand of being like a large content creator that was that's making shitty content just to maintain virality and so like you have to understand the framing in which i'm looking at this is more it's just different and frankly i i honestly just think it's better because i'm actually like applying like thought to these things and you're just using really weak talking points just to dismiss what i'm having to say i mean that's obviously true based on the fact that you agree that i didn't use any specific examples when the whole video is a large specific example and that's incredible it's an incredible thing it's crazy is being misogynistic she doesn't make the fucking video okay. obviously and you're right. There's some people that Drew does stitch that aren't being misogynistic. Oh, well, then you agree with me. Then what the fuck are you even saying what you said? They're being other things like a bully, fat, fat phobic. Oh, OK. Well, you're just being silly again. And so Maybe. on and so forth. She doesn't just talk about misogynistic men. She also talks about how men okay. are just assholes. And okay. some of these men rightfully so get bullied off the fucking app because of that. Yes, yeah, some of them, but not all of them. That's my point. Thank Quite you. Quite frankly, Drew is doing the Lord's work. You know, I can see why people thought it was uncomfortable when I would make TikTok shirtless. Shirtless. So I do. I do understand it now. I do. <laughs> Somebody made that as a point to the, the to the to the last video I made. They're like, he's doing these TikTok shirtless. Ew. And it's like this guy obviously isn't a bad person for it, but it is uncomfortable to watch somebody shirtless. You know. <laughs> Put in that elbow grease to make sure men should tremble when they hear her laugh. I don't think anybody Trump. I don't think any man actually trembles. I think this is like a really weird perspective. Most people just don't like Drew. I think she's fine. I just don't like some of her content. Um, but so nobody's like, oh my god, Drew might stitch. Most people, I think, are actually happy to be stitched by Drew. Uh, at least the ones that are being misogynistic. The non-misogynistic people might be uh, upset that Drew might uh, find their video because they won't understand why. Because like, I didn't deserve this. I just made like a silly joke about how my sound my girlfriend up for the draft, and then my entire account got banned because somebody decided to sensationalize what I said and try to cancel me. So like, what you're saying, 
I think you put a lot of I think you put a lot of um a lot of energy into Drew being like this um like the Messiah. But I don't think that she's a Messiah. Also, I find it quite hilarious that you said that about Drew. Because, well, said what about Drew? Because if I remember correctly, you were doing the same exact shit to marginalized group of people. I Bro, I just like um it it's so frustrating. Follow and like I want to respond by calling this guy like so many like like being like he's he's being very dumb. Okay, can uh, just bear with me. It's a minute and a half. This is the video he put into his video. All right, we're at one minute forty eight. This is the video he put into his video. He cut it up, and I don't expect him to show the whole thing. But this one talk about about being dishonest. Like, listen to this video. Showing the TikTok video I made. We'll skip it a little bit. Let's a lot of back well, YouTube, we... but I learned a couple of things. The first thing is that as non charitable as every single one of those reactions is, the reality is is that I kind of deserve the heat. Specifically because at one point on this app, I was one of the, if not the largest, commentary content creator on here and i was verified and the reality is is that i abused that platform i made inappropriate jokes that completely ruined my credibility and some of my takes did the same thing so i can't really be that mad at what people were saying i don't understand how you could you like you're using your screen time to dunk on me for bad content when like i've acknowledged it like you just <laughs> like it's so bro come on do you not feel silly don't you feel a little bit silly for that? Like, I make a video where I was like, hey, I'm responding to the backlash on Drew. And I make two points. One point is, is like, I understand the heat against me because people are justifiably, like, angry at me for, like, be, have shitty content. I'm totally acknowledging that. And then the second point I make is, like, hey, I, re I reestablish, like, what my actual uh, uh, opinion on Drew is. You're just being a silly Billy. You're just being a silly boy. Or a silly person, sorry. I don't understand. And then I end it with like basically like, hey, guys, like, listen, haven't you ever done anything wrong in your life? You know, like just basically just like an appeal. Like, you know, we've all made mistakes before, but like, have you learned from them? And I have. And so it's just like it's such a it's just so it's really disappointing. And I think that it I think that it's kind of I honestly think it's kind of unintelligent, bro. I use that as a gender neutral term. Sorry, but um, it's just kind of unintelligent. It's sad, you know? It's just kind of sad that like you're just you're being so intentionally dishonest, you know? But I guess that speaks more to you than it does to me. Black people, trans people, the list goes on. Also, not really. My content wasn't that bad. The and I I've, I've talked about this in depth. Well, I have to talk about it probably in depth before. My content really wasn't that bad. The biggest problem with my content was that I had high expectations because I was like a good commentary channel that would talk like very intelligently about topics. And then my jokes got shittier and shittier. And it wasn't a very long period of like shitty jokes. It was like maybe a couple of months, but it would destroy my credibility. And so like the reason people were upset with me isn't because of the jokes per se, it's because of the jokes that I made based off of the person that I was. And it's totally understandable. But like, you know, like you had said, this person's like, why didn't you provide better examples to, 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 to better his point? Well, why didn't you provide better examples to further your point? You know what I mean? Like we can go back. The difference is I actually did. Uh, in my first video on Drew, uh, but okay. And then you would have. Yeah, it's all for drama, race, like oh, drama, like cloud bullshit, yo. Effectively bully these same people off the app. Uh, I didn't actually do that. I was very, very adamant to my audience about not going after anybody that I criticized. And I would, like, so I think people think that I was, like, targeting black people. I would make, like, I would make like jokes for the most part that were just like insensitive. Um, I wasn't actually targeting specific people. And when I use a person's commentary video, I wouldn't even tag them anymore because I didn't want them to get backlash. Like I did a lot to, to, to police my things, but I like, this is what's shitty is like 99% of my content was really solid. And like, I obviously get slammed for like the 1% of my content, but I didn't do anything near what she did. And even if I did, like the fact that I acknowledge it's shit, like what I don't understand. Are you saying that what I did was okay? Like based on their logic, comparing me and drew, like what's your argument here? You literally said in your previous videos to in response to our videos okay. that you did worse shit. So I don't. Oh, well you really owned me there. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think you're the good candidate to try to push Drew off her pedestal. Mm, okay.
Emphasis on try because you're really failing right now. I think I'm doing fine with my commentary. I wasn't trying to push her off her pedestal. I was just doing commentary on it. And it would be nice if that she didn't call out people who didn't deserve it, but okay. And another thing. Yeah. I don't think you should even be making any kind of commentary videos Why? when you have been making pedo ass jokes in the past. If she believes she can breed. Oh, bro, it's just crazy, man. <laughs> It's another thing I talked about in my video. It's so annoying because, like, the joke is like inappropriate, but it's not the, the energy against it is so disproportionate. Especially since it's like it's not if she, it's not if she bleeds, she breeds. It's like if she's old enough to bleed, she's old enough to breed. Thank you very much, Andre Lopez, for the advice. I was I was trying to call out Andre Lopez, who at twenty three allegedly slept with a fourteen year old, and you guys, you guys are insane. You guys are insane. You're virtue signaling over pedophilia. You don't give a fuck about kids getting raped. You don't give a shit. Meanwhile, my platform is like very centralized around calling out predators. And you're like, didn't you? Uh, I mean, I don't. I didn't see the video myself. I can't even. I can't even. I literally can't even reference the video accurately. It was like five words, and I I left it out. You're not even watched. Watch the video. Go find it. You. Just, yeah, they're gonna bring it up forever. But it's so stupid, dude. It's so dumb. But okay. Yeah, let's not do that. We can just be silent like Joe Scott, okay? Okay. And another thing. We're gonna use one of my videos to further prove your idiot behavior. One, tag me in it. You want me to tag you in a YouTube video? What? Um... Uh, I don't even know how to respond to that. I talked about your video on YouTube, bro. I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, what? You want me to tag every person who made commentary? Why would I do that? That's so weird. And two, send the check next time. Mwah, bye. What does that mean, send the check next time? I don't really get it. Like, Because I, I used your commentary. It's so interesting because I'm pretty sure this person didn't even watch the YouTube video uh, about them. Where I just kind of laughed at them. Um, but okay. But yeah, you could see your name there, so you're credited if anybody looks at you and goes like, oh, I would really <laughs> I really think I'd enjoy this person's content. Let me go take a look. You know, that's that's <laughs> that's available to them um, if they ever wanted to see um, your content. So, really interesting, bro. Yeah, really interesting. <laughs> this is so fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, bro. Jesus Christ! What a what a fun day! I'll probably put that on the leftover channel. I don't think this uh, just for the fun little reaction. It's just like people are crazy, bro. People are fucking crazy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. <laughs> uh, or you can go to the Twitch page and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.